Hi everyone, this is Igor with Bitmovin. Um, so now that you've signed up for streams on Azure uh, through the marketplace, I wanted to show you how to use streams in the Bitmovin dashboard. Uh, here from the Bitmovin dashboard, after you sign in, you have your streams uh, uh, product in the top left. Uh, once you click on streams, uh, you see uh, I've already published an asset here, but I just wanted to show you how to create a new uh, video stream. So for this, in this case, uh, this is a video on demand video stream. And uh, you'll see here that you're uploading the video directly to Azure CDN. You can upload it here through the browser. You can uh, add a URL, uh, or in this case, I will choose an asset, uh, which is uh, one of our test assets already available. You can see immediately the Bitmovin player pops up and the encoding is in progress once that's complete. Uh, you'll see the video playing back. Uh, you can also add some stream settings, in this case, uh, poster art, uh, either through a URL or an upload. Um, I'll skip that part for the demo. Uh, and then you can share a stream link. And so in this case, you get a stream link that's shareable, uh, copy and share away. Uh, you, can, you also have a QR code. Uh, or you can embed the stream directly in uh, a website or an app. And so there's the embed code uh, for web. Uh, you can also get some embed code for an iframe. Uh, so pretty straightforward. I'm going to say done and let's look at our results. Um, once I get here, you see the source uh, URL, you see the manifest URL, which you can copy uh, and paste. Uh, you see some performance stats on the video. So in this case, I didn't hit play, but here I'll hit play before the encoding is done, uh, and you'll see that uh, this, this play would uh, show up in the analytics. Uh, so you can look at audience engagement stats, uh, you know, what devices users are using, where they're coming from. And then you can, uh, you have some settings here you can uh, update. So again, watermarks, poster art, uh, you can also style the player itself. Uh, and, and the UI for the player. Uh, you can also add ads into the stream. Uh, and uh, this makes it a really straightforward and easy way to use streams. Uh, here it is already published. Um, and now I'll just show you playback on an existing encoding that I did just a few minutes ago uh, where the encoding job is done. And so here's Big Black Bunny. I'm sure many of you have seen this before, uh, playing back directly in uh, the Bitmovin player, along with some statistics about usage. And so you can do this for all of your video content, whether it's on demand or uh, live. Thanks and happy streaming.